ओके चिल्ड्रेन ना लेट स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर वन रैशनल नंबर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द चैप्टर नाउ बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू रैशनल नंबर्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू नंबर्स नैचुरल नंबर्स डिनोटेड बाय एन नंबर स्टार्टिंग विद वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन आर कॉल्ड नैचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स डिनोटेड बाय डब्ल्यू ऑल नंबर्स स्टार्टिंग विद जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री सो ऑन दे आर कॉल्ड होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल जेड और कैपिटल आई ऑल द नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव इंक्लूडिंग जीरो आर कॉल्ड इंटीजर्स and the fractional numbers that is 2 upon 3 like it can be positive or it can be a negative number having a numerator and a denominator in certain cases these numbers cannot fulfill our calculations so we require a bigger number which is called rational number so all the rational number includes your rational numbers whole numbers integers and fractional numbers let's see the definition any number that can be written in a fractional form where the denominator is not equal to 0 is called a rational number so any number that you write in a fractional form is a rational number your denominator should not be equal to 0 a rational number is denoted by a capital q like suppose you take a natural number 1 upon 2 you can make it a fraction like upon 1 or 1 upon 2 or 2 upon 1 so when you can make it a fraction it becomes a rational number now coming to decimal numbers decimal numbers are also rational numbers because we can write them as a fraction how do you write them suppose you take a decimal number 1.2 remove the decimal after decimal there was one digit so put 10 and 1 so it becomes a fraction decimal numbers are of two types terminating decimals and non terminating decimals terminating decimals means which is have the numbers having finite or fixed decimal places or where you can count the decimal places Like zero point two four two decimal places, one point three seven five three decimal places. Non-terminating decimal means they are further classified into two categories: non-terminating recurring or repeating decimals, non-terminating non-recurring or non-repeating decimals. Now, what are non-terminating repeating decimals? Like you have same number being repeated after the decimal. Zero point one six six. It's three is being repeated here. Six is being repeated. So in short, we can write as zero point three with the bar, the number which is repeated. Put a bar on that. And here zero point one six 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 is being repeated, so we put a bar or a dot only on six, and all the non-terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers. Now coming to non-terminating non-recurring decimals, in this you can see three is being repeated, but the order of the digit is not same. These are called non-terminating. and non recurring decimals these are irrational numbers so rational numbers are denoted by q and irrational numbers are denoted by q with a bar now if prime factors of the denominator of any rational number has two or five or both in the lowest form then that decimal representation will be finite or terminating now we'll see few examples of rational and irrational rational like root 4 Now root four or under root four or square root four is actually two, so it's a rational number. Root twenty five is equal to five, so it's also a rational number. So when you can find the value of root two, accurate number, it's a rational number. Now root three, one point seven three two and so on, so it's a irrational number. Root five, two plus root five, three minus root two. These are few examples of irrational numbers. Coming to real numbers being denoted by a capital R. All the rational and irrational numbers together make real numbers. Even numbers. All the numbers that you can divide by two or divisible by two are called even numbers. In other terms, numbers ending with zero, two, four, six, eight are even numbers. Odd numbers. Numbers which are not divisible by two are called odd numbers. Or numbers ending in one, three, five, seven, nine are odd numbers. Prime numbers. All the numbers having two factors. are called prime numbers or we can say that the numbers which are divisible by only two numbers one and itself are called prime numbers composite numbers numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers uh one example of prime is say uh, three divisible by one and itself and one example of composite let's take four divisible by one itself as well as two it's a composite number now coming to one One is neither prime nor composite. Why? Because it has only one factor. Because one and itself both are one only. So it's neither prime nor composite. It's called a unique number. Co-prime numbers. Two numbers having highest common factor one, or the numbers which are divisible only by one, are called co-prime numbers. 
when we are finding the co-prime numbers both the numbers can be prime both the numbers in both the numbers one can be prime and one can be composite in both the numbers both can be composite twin prime numbers two prime numbers which differ by two or two prime numbers having a difference of two are called twin prime numbers let's take example suppose i am taking 5 and 7 7 minus 5 is 2 29 and 31 31 minus 29 is also 2 so these are twin prime numbers prime triplet three consecutive prime numbers with a difference of two are called prime it's called a prime triplet now let's take three prime numbers 3 5 and 7 7 minus 5 is 2 and 5 minus 3 is also 2 you should know that 3 5 and 7 is the only set of prime triplet other than this you will not find any other prime triplet rationalization the process of multiplying irrational number by its rationalizing factor is called rationalization suppose you take one irrational number 2 under root 2 now you multiply it again by root 2 and it will become 2 how multiplying irrational number by another irrational number which is the rationalizing factor we get a rational number because it becomes root 2 ka square and square and root on the same number is equal to 2 now that's how it becomes root 2 into root 2 is actually root 2 ka whole square and square and root on the same number it gets cut and we are left with 2 And two is a rational number. Let's take see one example. Rationalize the denominator. We have to rationalize the denominator. So in simple terms, we can say we have to finish off this root from the denominator. So let's multiply it by root seven and root seven because root seven into root seven is root seven ka square, which is actually seven. So two root six multiplied by root seven. The numbers outside the root are multiplied together, and the numbers under the root are multiplied together. So two root forty two upon seven. This is your final answer.